Okay, so today is Friday, and in Acts chapter 9, we see the conversion, the reroute story of Saul to Paul, right? We've been talking about that, but let's pick up what Peter is doing. Well, Peter is in the countryside, and he's sharing uh, the gospel, and and here's what takes place. He he meets this disciple. Her name is Tabitha. In Greek, her, her name is Dorcas, which, by the way, if you're looking for a baby name, it is wide open. You can take Dorcas either as a first or a middle name. <laughs> Anyways, so Dorcas dies, all right? And everybody's grieving, and Peter goes uh, to Joppa, and he finds that that Tabitha is dead or Dorcas and says, you know, to some other disciples, hey, listen, I need you to clear the room. And he gets down on his knees and he prays and God does a miracle. And scripture says that he leads Dorcas out and he shows the people. Now, here's the question that I want to ask you. Who gets the glory? Who gets the glory for that healing? It would have been really easy for Peter to say, you know what? I did that. That was me. Yep. I'm so close to God. I have special power. I have a special anointing. I have favor. I have knowledge. You remember me as this Peter? Well, I'm not that anymore. I'm like super Peter, right? He could have easily stepped into a Messiah role, a savior for people. And isn't, isn't that the tendency if we're not careful? Listen, we don't save people. God saves people. We don't heal people. God heals people. We don't forgive. Well, I guess we do forgive people. But we don't forgive people of like their sin that would be before God. We forgive people when they sin against us. But those sins, those things, like only Jesus' blood does that. Unless he bleeds, we don't have a breakthrough. So when this took place, the scripture says in verse 42, this became known all over Joppa. Yeah, that's like an understatement, right? And many people believed in who? In the Lord. You know what that tells me? That tells me that Peter wasn't trying to snatch the glory. Peter was willing to give the glory. So when God does something in and through you, be quick to say, that was God. God did that. God showed up. God used me and my gifts and my talents and my efforts. But ultimately, that was God and he deserves the glory. God deserves all the glory. God is the one that we love and serve together. Amen. Amen. I'll see you next week on The Daily Dose.